The El Nino brewing in the Pacific Ocean is getting really big, with equatorial waters significantly warmer than average. Researchers are predicting that this El Nino could be among the strongest since records began in 1950. For more on how this could bring the world some wild weather, Yi Jiwon reports. This is a satellite image of the water temperature distribution of the Pacific Ocean. The red and white areas show an abnormal increase in temperature, signaling the return of the weather phenomenon known as El Nino. El Nino is caused by strong winds from the west, blowing warm water towards the center and eastern sides of the Pacific. According to the World Meteorological Organization, water temperatures have been rising since July. With the ocean already 2 degrees Celsius warmer than average, we are only a 0.5 degree away from experiencing a more powerful form of the phenomenon, dubbed Super El Nino. Considering that water temperatures in the region peak in the winter, there's a high chance we'll see a Super El Nino this season. If a Super El Nino does happen, extreme weather conditions are expected to affect the world, causing scorching heat, severe droughts, and forest fires. The most recent Super El Nino was recorded in the winter of 1997 to 98. Korea was hit by abnormally mild temperatures that year and one of the most severe rainstorms the following summer. Meteorologists expect that with El Nino building up in the Pacific, in addition to the ongoing global warming, temperatures will hit new highs next year. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.